All right, and we're back. And like the original Mega Man X, the easiest stage to start off with and recommended is Chill Penguin. However, you can't, unlike the original Mega Man X game, you don't just get the boot upgrades anymore. If you want those, you need to go to Flame Mammoth stage. And getting the upgrade from Flame Mammoth stage is actually really easy, but I'm gonna do Chill Penguins first just because there are a few things. Well, technically I could get the life upgrade here without freezing the lava, but it's kind of a stupid thing to do. <clears throat> and if you don't know what I mean by you can get the health upgrade before freezing lava, basically, well, every, uh, certain stages have different effects when you beat certain stages in different orders. If you beat... Say, if you beat, um... Chill Penguin and then go to... Flame Mammoth stage. The lava will be frozen. Damn it, damn it. Uh, I'll show you guys all of that. I don't know why I'm trying to explain it when you guys can't see anything. Alright, uh, right in there is the... I think it's the head upgrade. We need the boots to get in there, though. So once we do Flame Man stage, then we'll come back and grab it. And the original Mega Man X right here would literally be the leg upgrades. It wasn't a way to avoid it either, it's just kind of you have to get it in, oh, you're stuck with it. Well actually I think you could do, you could put in cheats to avoid actually getting it. So if you were trying to do a no upgrade run, basically, I don't know, go through Chill Penguin stage and then find a cheat that lets you bypass, and say you beat Chill Penguin but without the boots. Some people have done that. Alright, the life upgrade here is right in here. But we need the... Well, we need Flame Mammoth's weapon to get it, so that's kind of a pointless thing. My buttons are kind of worn down. Chill Penguin! Why? Why? I wouldn't expect you to understand! Look at you, X! You act so high and mighty! I can't stand it! Ah! I'll get you! I'm gonna uh, Of course we're gonna start off with that. And of course we're gonna do that. Let's see, you're going to jump up now? Nope. Yeah, Chill Penguin is not a problem whatsoever. Ow, you little prick. Come on. 
sake, jeez. I feel embarrassed for actually getting hit, though. That's shameful. Mission accomplished. But whatever. You got a new weapon. Shotgun ice. Shotgun ice. Ooh. So pretty. Okay, now let's go to Flame Mammoth stage. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm really surprised my disc drive, my drive hasn't caused any issues yet. Mission. I shouldn't be saying that though, because now that I set it up, I'll probably have an issue pop up. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. If you do Flame Mammoth, well... If you do Flame Mammoth stage before actually fighting Chill Penguin, then the ice right here is going to be lava. And while it won't kill you in one hit, it definitely hurts. Try to avoid stepping in. My name is Thomas Light. This is a message for X. I entrust the future to you. Light? I, I think I know this guy. If you've come across this castle, I fear you must be in the midst of a difficult battle. I have left four powers for you to inherit. I believe that you will use them in the cause of justice. Here you will find the foot parts. Equip the parts you find in this castle and you will gain the ability to dash. Use this power to steer the future in the right direction. I trust in you, my dear Axe. Yeah, sorry about not releasing my charge before going up here. I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, that's not pointless. Yeah, see, this is where the hard upgrade was. <laughs> I actually played Maverick Hunter X before I ever actually played the original Mega Man X, and I felt really stupid. Once I realized beating Chill Penguin frees of the lava, <laughs> I actually spent a few times trying to get. Well, I made it at some point. It's just I never survived making it back. Oh, oh I forgot I need the head upgrade. Oh well. Okay, well, time to head up. Yeah, again, I'm sorry I'm being so quiet. I just get really focused when I'm playing Mega Man games. Yeah, you would do that. <clears throat> hmm, why does Sigma think that a weak little B-class hunter like you is even worth my time? Sigma's a maverick, just like you. Sigma must be as crazy as you say. He keeps talking about how you are the future of Reploids. Can you believe that, X? <laughs> now it's time for me to stomp the future into dust. Power! And just like Chill Penguin, Flame Mammoth has a really predictable pattern. It doesn't hurt you if he lands on the ground when he jumps. It'll just make you trip for a second. I like that. Come on, up, up, up. Oh, 
Okay, really? This is why I don't like using my PSP. My buttons are so worn down. I feel like I'm using a third-party controller for... Well, just any home console. Really flimsy buttons here now. Ugh, come on! Every... I hate that. Sometimes he doesn't jump. Ugh, two easiest bosses and I got hit. I don't like this. I feel like an idiot. Mission accomplished. Oh well. You got a new weapon. Firewave. Okay, now let's go back to the abandoned missile base. Actually, mm. I'm beginning the mission. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Funny. Ah, fuck it. Just rushing through. The head parts await you within this castle. Equip the parts you find inside here, and you will gain the ability to smash blocks with your head. I'm counting on you, X. You are humanity's last hope. See, I remember to let go of the charge. I kind of wish Dr. Light had his Mega Man 8 voice actor. You have... We have to stop Dr. Waiwi. Honestly, Dr. Light's voice actor in, the Me in Mega Man 8 wasn't that bad. It's just him not being able to enunciate anything without sounding so cute. But I got enough hits and just did knock you out. Care. There we go. What's in this one again? I think it's an extra life. No, or it's nothing. Okay. So now let's go back to Flame Mammoth stage. And then we'll end the episode off here. Well, after that. Beginning mission! Probably tell I've played the game a few times. God, it's so easy to do this on my fucking Vita. Thank you. You get out of here. There we go. Okay! So with that, we've completed two stages and gotten all of the upgrades we can get between them. <sighs> Which one am I going to do next? Oh yeah, I'm going to do Storm Eagles, because if you beat Storm Eagles stage and then go to Spark Mandrills, it will change the environment as well. The only other ones that change when you beat them are going, well, after these two, then it's these two, 
and then you can do Launch Octopus, which will affect Stink Chameleon stage. That's really the only ones that'll affect each other otherwise now. But anyways, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. Um, this is probably going to be a very short Let's Play. Again, I'm going to be doing X and Vile story, but I just pretty much know where everything is, and I've played this in the original X so many times that it's really nothing at this point. Oh, but anyways, as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time with some more Let's Play Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. Until then, bye guys.